Hi, welcome back to Peer Tech Talk. In this video, we're going to take a first look at the new and very exciting development board from ST. And its name is STM32H573I-DK, and DK stands for Discovery Board. It's a discovery board, and this means that ST is packing all the bells and whistles that are possible. And we are not being let down this time either. It's based on their high performance H5 family. And the device is put on the board is the STM32H573IK3Q. It's a full name that. It's a Cortex M33 with trust zone running at whopping 230 MHz. With a 2 MB on chip flash and 60, 640K of SRAM in a 176 pins UFBGA package. It also has a TFT display, which is a 240 by 240 pixels on a 1.54 inch screen. It also packs a touch panel. And it runs demos using the Touch GFX graphic library that are delivered without extra cost. You just need to download it from the ST site. It's also packed with interfaces. So for this board, it's all USB-C connected. So it's a USB 2.0 full speed with a 15 watt 5 volt 3 amp source sync port. And it also has an Ethernet with a 10 100 megabit Ethernet jack on it. Besides the internal memory, there are also an external uh, 512 megabit Octus by NOR flash on it. It has a digital MEMS microphone, and um, the development board also has a built in ST Link V3EC debugger interface with a virtual COM port as well for the debugger. Or if you for some reason want to use an external debugger, there are one 10 pin serial wire debugger JTAG connector and one 20 pin serial wire debugger and JTAG and trace connector. The evaluation kit is delivered with development board, but also two additional add-on boards. You can use only one board at a time. It's connected to a 20 pin ST Mod 2 connector. We're starting by looking at the add on board named MB1280. When connected, you have two groove connectors one for I2C and another one for UART. You have one ESP01 Wi Fi module interface. It's this little guy here, um, if you want to run ESP8266 modules. Then all pins are all ready for you, for your experiments. It has one microbus connector. Earlier I made an adapter board with a Wi-Fi wi module uh, for this bus, and uh, there are several others on the market. There are some pin headers as well, CN9 and CN12, for various tests. Please make sure that you take great care of making sure that the pins you want to use is not already occupied by something else on the board, since there are several things happening on this board already. If we remove the fan out board and then we can instead connect the Wi-Fi module that is also included in the development board kit. So you can put this on the, the connector instead for the fan out board and you can make some tests and labs on, on Wi-Fi for instance. Here we have the development board connected via USB and the default software is running that is delivered on the board. And we, if we just take a small uh, run through the board and um, so there is your ST-Link uh, connector for uh, debugging and also the virtual serial port. Up here you have the 20 pin uh, connector that you could actually add these boards. So 
So there you have the fan out board. And here you have the uh, Wi-Fi board that is also included in the, the kit. So they are connected to that port. Up here you have a PMOD connector. Here you have the USB connector. USB-C for uh, all parts and also power delivery and stuff. Here you have the 10 100 megabit Ethernet port. Uh, you have a reset button. You have a user button. You have actually several LEDs, user LEDs there. You have an uh, SD card uh, interface there. And this is an audio interface. I'm not sure what board is uh, supposed to be there. I haven't seen anyone yet. But I know that just in front of my pen there is the microphone on, on the back side. And here you have the 240 by 240 TFT display, background uh, lit. And you have the connector to the display in this ribbon cable. And with this connector you have the touch interface. There we have an STM32, uh, I think it's an F7, that is running the JTAG V3 to you. And here you have the 10 pin connector if you want like to use an external debugger and there you have a 20 pin if you would like to use an, a trace function. Arduino pins for uh, add-on shields. You have the STM32H5 microcontroller there. You have the SPI memory up there. Uh, I think that is basically uh, all parts on the board. So when we just boot the board, uh, we have this Touch GFX software is running on the board, so you can run Touch GFX, and I hope you can see something on the on, from the display. It's uh, hard to film it; you always get some glares and stuff. But here you have a, a small application uh, running from um, Touch GFX, and if we hit something on on the boards, you can see that there is. Um, now some uh, blending and it uh, consumes like 50%. Uh, it says down here how much the CPU load is. So it's roughly 50% uh, now because there is no graphic uh, accelerator in, in this one. If you would like to use a graphic accelerator then you should look into the U5 instead. They have actually a GPU built in it. And um, this is also some fun fancy stuff that you can actually do with the touch GFX and it's quite amazing with uh, with the built in in into the microcontroller that you can do this stuff it's it might not look very much on the display but it's very ni nice to see on uh, uh, real life if we put reset and we go into the demo mode uh, we have another application running here and we can for instance run this one and there is a trust zone and uh, we can go into ah, it's for USB power delivery there is another demo for that one I think there is a calendar so there is a date time and with alarm where we can set the alarm and stuff I think this is uh, yeah an encrypt and decrypt on the fly and there will be a comparison notice um, if you just uh, run plain text that is the red bar what time does take and this is when you actually do the encrypt on the fly. So it's more or less no penalty on it because there is a hardware accelerator for this one. Uh, 
and here we have some information on, on the board itself and the firmware. And here is actually a uh, recording that we could uh, record in this microphone and I think it's stored on the Octal Spy and then we can uh, replay it if we put a uh, headset to it as well. So it's quite uh, extensive, extensive uh, software kit that is on board this microcontroller. If we take a look on the fan outboard, this is the pin header that you're connecting to the board. So it's sitting like that when it's connected. And uh, then you have, for instance, uh, ESP01 module that you could connect there if you would like to run ASP8266 Wi-Fi labs. That module is not included. That was something that I had in, in my stock here. Then you have two groove connector. Uh, there is one, it's running I2C, and the other one there is running uh, UART communication. You have here a micro, uh, micro bus connector and uh, then you can use for instance a module like this to attach to these pins. It's a standard connector. So you can use it like that. So this is the finalized on the STM32H573i DK board. It was just a quick uh, run through and uh, showing some features that you can expect on the board. It also comes with a bunch of uh, software that you can uh, look into and I might also do some videos on these later on. And if there is something specific that you would like to, uh, me to look into, if it is touch GFX or if it is something else, just let me know and I will maybe do a video on that one. So I hope you learned something and uh, are interested to get uh, yourself a uh, development board from ST on the H573. And uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider to do so. It's free of charge and I really appreciate it. And if there is anything else in my other videos, uh, please take a look. I will put some videos on my latest, uh, uh, latest videos in, in the end here. So until I see you next time, stay safe.